Saturday getting out visiting the Flithill Huskies, checking out Coach Kirk Peterson and the Dogs as they hosted Coach Mike Engelberg and his Murray Frogs. It's senior day here at Flint Hill. Matthew Tremble, one of the many Husky seniors being honored with his mom and dad. What a beautiful facility here at Flint Hill School, just north of I-66 in Oakton, Virginia. Murray coming over to Flint Hill without Robbie Engelberg this year. He's moved on to UVA, but at the helm. Transfer from Pennsylvania, Roman Jensen has thrown for just under 3,000 yards already this season coming into this game. On the Flint Hill side, Joshua Clark has offers from Virginia Tech, Boston College, and Maryland. Coach Kirk Peterson says they just returned from Southern Cal and expects USC and Wisconsin soon to make offers. He's just a junior, but he's a dude out there on the field. Ty Harris is only a freshman, but he's got offers from Maryland and Campbell. Get ready. This one started out as a track meet from the jump and ended with an all-out war. This is the first play from scrimmage for Roman Jensen and the Frogs. Little high percentage swing pass to DJ Hill. Nobody's gonna touch me. See ya. 57 yards, Murray up 6-0. Manoli, Karagorgas, dropping, hitting Ty Harris. Ray's not touching up either. 69 yards, Huskies on the board. They lead 7-6 with 5-14 to play in the first. Still first quarter, Roman Jensen's gonna find Donovan Calhoun, watch closely. Forward lateral to DJ Hill, who's off to the races. For the touchdown. That was smooth. What just happened? Right? So the stripes clearly can't let that stand. It only gets better. From the 25 yard line, Roman Jensen throws a pick. Ty Harris, but Donovan Calhoun says, that was for me, bro. Snags the ball out of Harris's hands and falls into the end zone. Touchdown, Murray. That was hard. That was hard. But that makes it 13-7, Murray with 2.17 still to play in the first frame. The very next play, jet sweep to Josh Clark. That's easy enough, right? Especially if nobody touches the ball carrier. He's going to take it to the house. 75 yards, Flint Hill back on top, 14-13. A 10-second, 75-yard drive there. 2.02 still to play in the opening quarter. The very next play, Roman wants Donovan Calhoun over the middle. This time he's touched, but he ain't done. Ty Harris can't bring him down. He's on his way to a 77-yard touchdown drive that eats up only 15 seconds of clock. Murray is not making extra points so far in this one. They're virtually going by sixes. It's 19 to 14, still 138 to play. We are still in the first quarter. Karagorgas finding Bryce Stewart. He's gonna be lightly touched by Ishan Ibrahim, but Stewart is on his way to that end zone. 83 yards, touchdown, lead change again. Flint Hill makes it 21-19. Nine seconds to play in the opening quarter. We are almost ready to switch sides. Six touchdowns covering 386 yards already. After a turnover by Murray's offense, Karagorgas hands it to Andrew King. I don't think he was touched. No, there it goes. DJ Hill got a hand on him, but King is in that end zone. 65 yards, touchdown, Flint Hill. They go up 28-19, maybe starting to pull away. 11-26 to play in the half. Couple drives later, Roman, Donovan crossing the midline and just cruising in the open field. It's 28-25, Flint Hill still up by three. Here's a three-play 91-yard drive here. Roman Jensen to DJ Hill. He's off and running. Gets Maria first down just outside the red zone. Then Jensen back to Hill, down to the one-yard line. And he's gonna keep it, Roman. Into that end zone, 41 seconds to play, still in the half. 32-28, Murray on top, and that was our score at the break. Second half, Josh Clark moving out to his left side, turns it up. Now he's breaking tackle. Whoop! He's on the corner. He's in, 47 yards, but there's a flag on the play. This one will not count. On to the fourth quarter, no other scoring other than a field goal by Flint Hill. Murray leads it 32-31, Roman drops. He's got Jack Sabota, 41 yards. Murray goes up by its biggest lead of the day, 39-31, with 6.20 to play in the game. Manoli is looking for Josh Clark. He's got him, 
31 yards and a first down into Frog territory. A couple plays later, he hits Josh again for an 18-yard touchdown pass, and this two-point conversion is to tie the game. With 4.29 to play, Manoli keeps it and gets it in there. We are all tied with just moments to play in this one. It's on now, closing minutes of the game. Roman Jensen moving to his left, finds Masai Morgan running free in the secondary. Woo! Still on his feet, all the way down to the 11-yard line. 64 yards, but it's coming back. There's a block in the back on the play, and it was on Murray. Roman is going to have to do it again. He's dropping, looking for Raiden Nieder. Look at that one-handed grab. That play covers 22 yards. First down, Frogs. Out at the 42-yard line, Roman Jensen looking to pull off some last-minute heroics here with a game-winning drive. He goes over the middle, but Gary Jones steps in front of the screen pass, picks it off, and he is making himself heard. Little Gary, they call him, rumbling all the way in for the score. The Huskies putting this one away. Big time play, big time stay. Coach P is hyped with little Gary. They putting it on him. It's a big time play. But Roman is not done yet. He's stretching this play out, draws the defense, finds Bryce June in the flat, and he's all by himself. He will score, setting up this huge point after. Mike Engelberg will go for two. Roman Jensen keeps it himself and gets in. Murray takes the lead, 47-46, and the Huskies work their way back downfield into field goal range and have just time for one play. This will be a 45-yard field goal attempt. Dylan Lowe, plenty of distance, but it's about a foot wide on the right side. Amazing kick just off. Murray wins a huge non-league game for them tuning up right before the DCS AA playoffs start. They will face Sidwell next Saturday at home. The Huskies are done for 2022. It was incredible. I mean, um, our receivers played well. We had great protection. Um, one of the craziest football games I've ever played in. Your guys, it was over in my mind a couple of times and they kept fighting. Yeah! If you look at our kids, you know, we may not be the most talented team out there. We may not be the biggest team, but they just, they don't know any better. They play so hard and they don't give up. I mean, last week we were in the same kind of game and lost 38, 35, and, but they never gave up. And if you're, that's how your team plays, just to play every play the hardest and not worry about the scoreboard. In the end, you're gonna come up with stuff. I mean, that, their Flint Hill is ridiculously talented, but we just never gave up and kept chipping away and chipping away. and. I can't believe the finish of that one. Wow.